Thanks, guys. Let's take a look at what went down so far in this one. The Nuggets worked hard for their halftime lead. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Denver Nuggets. The Lakers were in need of a bit more scoring if they wanted the halftime lead. They've been scrappy, doing their best to be competitive. We'll see if their efforts are more rewarded in the second half. These are the guys getting buckets for the Los Angeles Lakers. First half stats. Player of the half. I like this choice because he really put on a show in the opening half. There's a reason he's a fan favorite. Who was cold? No one wants to be picked for this segment, but he couldn't avoid it. Maybe he'll turn things around in the second half. Here we go with the top plays. Number two. Number one. And with that, I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game. LBJ. Big pick right there. To Davis. Nothing going here on that drive. Danny Green to James. Nikola Jokic rejects it. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. LeBron into the front court. 14 point deficit. Here comes the screen. Kuzma to James. Throws it down. Here on their home floor, they're chipping away. I mean, does this crowd have a pulse? Are they even alive? Sometimes when you make a play like that, your crowd needs to get you back in this ball game. It's Denver's ball. Right down the lane, but the shot won't go. LeBron with it up top. The deficit now up to a dozen. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. LeBron James at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 73%. Free throw good, a three-point play, and they're back within single digits, down by nine. To Jokic. Anthony Davis! Huge block. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have...
Underutilized, underutilized, underutilized. It's almost like he had the defender on a string, and he's the puppet master. <laughs> Two. The maturity of one of the game's greatest on full display. Yeah, LeBron James still proving that he can get up there with the highest of the high. But still, I love the fact that he recognizes less is yet they even throw their bodies into you. And as soon as you become hesitant, defend. He's been a one-man show. But, Jay, they're still down in this one. He's their lone bright star, their only star tonight. Some other of the supporting cast members really need to step up. And he's fouled. He's going to the line for two. JaVale McGee, a couple of free throws on the way. History not on his side. 58% from the line. First try, no good. down the second after missing the first down you got to get up and contest the shot consistent effort he's at 50 percent two points take them any way you can get them that down with ease night but two for three in the contest right now but most importantly you have to keep the ball moving maybe run some floppy sets some horn sets raise those bigs up which open up the lane and separate the good players from the great ones the good players they have good first halves and then they fade the black in the second the great players they just sustain and the slam dunk it's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's a problem, City. Keep turning around, and the defense is right there in your face. The jawing is only going to escalate. And in his face. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot-making ability has been better. And sometimes for... Oh, don't see the read. Be the read. down that's what i'm talking about nice finish it's all business Fish at the rim and that is the sign of an unselfish team when everybody in transition thinks they have a chance to get the ball because you have a willing passer somebody willing to make other players on his team look great that's only going to force your players to play all around or over go through this for the slam i see the easy dunk but what i don't see is energy scream do something get yourself emotionally involved in the game to Porter. And the finish, slam dunk. Now the Lakers gonna use a timeout as they'll talk things over in a one-point basketball game. Time to the types of shots you always strive for. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture in. Mason Plumley has got two shots coming. 56% for his career. First try at the line, no good.
Second one's good. Splits the pair. Lakers ball. And finishes strong. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Neither side is giving up an inch. I guarantee you tomorrow on Complex is back. You know what I like about this pass play? Instead of putting his head down and forcing the action, he patiently waited for the play to develop. Line for two. No, no, no. I'll tell you. The team that makes the little mistakes, like committing unnecessary reach-in fouls like that, will be the team that ends up with the L. Anthony Davis is going to get three shots here for his career, 79% at the line. Misses the first. That one won't go. One more to come. Missed the third one. 0 for 3 on this trip. This will be out of bounds off of Davis. Los Angeles has the basketball. Curling inside, Anthony Davis. He's now four for six. Nineteen footer at the buzzer. That ends the third quarter. The Lakers have the lead. It's the Nuggets with the basketball to start the fourth quarter. And things went off the rails for them a bit in that third quarter as they watched their lead completely evaporate. And then some. Now they find themselves behind. And a throwdown. It's not every day that you see a 6'9", 265-pound freight train coming down the lane. You probably want to step out of the way. Nuggets have the possession to Porter. Good. Off a spin. The defender needs to do a better job of forcing a pickup there. To Caldwell Pope. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. This offseason, I heard so many voices, even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal, talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, lets it fly from long range, dives for it, not afraid to mix it up. Ah, rock in the rim. You know, from a point guard perspective, B5, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys need to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch. But great awareness by the shooter to get those toes right behind the three-point line. To Jokic.
Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Ed, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Jamal Murray trying to cash in on a three-point play for his career, 89%. Free throw good, a three-point play created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it. And it all after the jump, that's how you get to the free throw line. LeBron James at the line for two shots. Hasn't missed yet. Off the mark on the first free throw. Got this. Missed the second. 0 for 2. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Paul Millsap. LeBron James here against Jeremy Grant to Caldwell Pope. Davis around the perimeter to James. Sends it away. That kid can block out the sun. Eh? Anthony Davis able to recover with the block. Here's one of the biggest secrets as we move into this new age of basketball. That one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. Stopping AD here. Well, look, you can't be caught flat-footed on defense. You need to be on the balls of your feet, especially in transition. You have to jab at that guy with the ball, hedge at him, make him think that maybe you will take him. Maybe you'll fan out to a defender on the perimeter, but still keep in the fight. You're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with the fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. The drive right to the basket. Drive by Murray, but he can't finish. That's superb defense. That's a defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. Nuggets with the basketball. And a nice finish at the rim. Short jumper stays out. Goes reverse to lay it in. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. James to Danny Green. Caldwell Pope to Davis. Nikola Jokic sends it away. Nuggets have the possession. Dwight Howard ah, tips it. And that's going to get out of bounds. Off a Laker. Had a good look there, but it's no good. LeBron with it up top. The lead is 15. To Danny Green. James to Danny Green. A oh, great defense there, forcing the pickup. Caldwell Pope can't connect. He was absolutely scoring at will in the first half. But now that the defense has picked up, don't try to do too much. Less is more. Anthony Davis rejects it. 
Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Couldn't keep it in. Off Contavious Caldwell Pope. Time for some new personnel into the game. Jamal Murray, defended by Howard. Anthony did... Oh! oh! And he can't keep it in off the block. Man, that was impressive. Lakers come up with it. Let's just let the clock run out. We got to get out of here. I got a dinner to go to. Dion Waiters powers it through. The pass was really good, but what I love most about the play, Ed was that every player that ran in transition had active hands, which means they were active targets. They provided a target for the player to deliver the pass. That's how you work together as teammates. To Millsap. Gets a look, can't hit. Let's be realistic. He's probably not gonna miss a lot of shots, but the more effort you can give, you wanna try to tire him out. Take his legs away, make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Cruises inside for two. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. He gets it. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Hey, up, up. And there's the whistle. Neither player giving up an inch. We have a tie-up. All lined up and ready for the jump. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer. Shot at the buzzer does indeed go down, but it only affects the final score. This ball game is over. The Lakers get the victory as they win this one handily. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Hey everyone, it's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Lakers won this game after a close finish. They did it with blocks, and they did it with steals. More to the point, they did it with excellent defense. They committed to the grind and got rewarded as a result. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Los Angeles Lakers. The Nuggets just couldn't close this one out. Chemistry was clearly not the issue today because they were definitely sharing the ball well. Still, everyone knows they'd rather be sharing the joy of a victory. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Denver Nuggets. Game track. Assists. It's a shame only one team can win when you have such great team basketball on display. The ball movement was tremendous. Player of the game. LeBron James seemed to think he could only score points with dunks in this game. Again and again. He kept throwing them down. And it was just astonishing. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. Here's our top plays of the game. Number two. 
Number one. That does it for us. On behalf of the rest of the crew, good night.